Coffee, a beloved morning companion, not just for its wake-up call, but for the potential health benefits it brings. Research reveals a lot of good news, from weight loss to reducing the risk of diseases like type 2 diabetes and Alzheimer's. Yet, there's a flip side. Some studies suggest that coffee might have an impact on cholesterol levels. So, is coffee a friend or foe when it comes to cholesterol? Let's hear what the experts have to say. First, a quick lesson on cholesterol. Our bodies can't live without it. Found in every cell, cholesterol has crucial roles in digestion, hormone production, and more. There's the good guy, HDL, and the not-so-good guy, LDL. Too much LDL can lead to heart issues. Now, enter coffee, not just about caffeine, but over 1,000 bioactive compounds. Some, like cavestol and kawil, may raise LDL cholesterol by interfering with the body's natural cholesterol processing. But here's the plot twist. How you brew your coffee matters. Filtered coffee seems to be the hero, blocking those cholesterol-raising compounds. Boiled or French press coffee, on the other hand, may expose you to higher risks. Quantity matters too. A study found that moderate consumption, around 3 to 4 cups a day, had a moderate impact on cholesterol. However, those who went above for cups faced a six-fold increase in LDL cholesterol. But before you ditch your coffee altogether, consider the bigger picture. Coffee contains compounds that reduce oxidative stress and inflammation, benefiting heart health. In fact, a study showed that two to three cups of coffee reduce the odds of death from any cause, including cardiovascular disease. So, what's the bottom line? Let's hear from the experts. A moderate amount of coffee, particularly filtered coffee, is safe for both heart health and cholesterol levels. In the grand screenplay of your health, coffee can play a role, but it's all about moderation and mindful choices. So, enjoy that cup, but maybe go easy on the cream and sugar. Your heart will thank you.